and today's video is going to be a marvelous shoe unboxing of a very exciting pair of shoes. Today we have a very special collaboration with a regular choice and Disney to once again celebrate Alice in Wonderland. I feel like everybody is getting so excited for the launch of the new movie, which means tons of new Alice in Wonderland themed products are excitingly enough flooding the market. These shoes I feel like are perfect for my life. They're sinking into the box. I don't know why I'm trying to open a shoe box this way, but I guess I should show you guys the outside of the box first. Alice is on the box, surrounded by the super rude flowers. And then on the back, we have the Queen of Hearts and the Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit. Just like the Irregular Choice Star Wars collaboration, we once again also have a special tissue paper inside of the box. It's blue and it has Alice and the White Rabbit on it and a bunch of hearts. And then in the corner, it says Alice in Wonderland. You probably can't tell though, cause it's tissue paper. So it's semi-transparent like an onion. You guys, these shoes are absolutely perfect for my life because they represent tea time and the Mad Hatter's tea party. The heel is a teapot and a teacup. And once again, these shoes are absolute statement pieces. Probably not for anyone's everyday wear, but if you go to Disneyland or Disney World a lot, or you just particularly love Alice in Wonderland, or you particularly love tea, then you would probably be a big fan of these shoes as well. I think that this style is called one lump or two. Yes, it is. I am a size seven. However, a regular choice shoes come in European sizes. So technically I'm a size 38. You cannot top the whimsicalness of a regular choice shoes. The toe part looks like it's got frosting or jam. I cannot remember what the Dormouse eats. I think it is jam. So I'm sure that's supposed to be, you know, some sort of British dessert that I can't think of the name of it right now. But to me, it just looks like frosting with sprinkles on it. The actual shoe itself is this really nice blue floral pattern. It looks like a beautiful wallpaper. Then on the top of the shoe, there is this little rosette. And right in the center is a fork and a spoon. Utensils that you need for tea time. And then it's just graduated blue and pink rosette fabric and Oh, those are like little polka dots. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice on the side. It's like a you tried ribbon and we've got hollow here. I feel like simply neological right now, but a beautiful hollow ribbon. The other thing that I loved about this shoe was the playing cards, which are towards the heel and they are like the Mad Hatter's playing cards. Actually, maybe just 10 over six is the only Mad Hatter card. And I've heard that that has some sort of historical reference. It means something. If you guys know the story of why there is a 10 over six card having to do with the Mad Hatter, leave me a comment. Let me know down below. The back is this nice blue, almost kind of like hollow sort of fabric with glitter. And then this is little heart embroidery. Also next to the embroidered hearts so very cutely. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's honestly, oh, there we go. It says, you're my cup of tea. I literally feel like I could go on and on and on pointing out different details about this shoe. But for me, the most magnificent, most favorite part of the shoe is the heel where you do get that nice three dimensional teacup and teapot. And this is so heavy. It's very nice and weighty. I don't feel like it's cheaply made or that it's gonna break or get ruined or anything like that. And also that it would be very sturdy to walk on. And then the inside is absolutely adorable as well. I hope you guys are truly going to be able to see the detail. First of all, I 
have to say the inside is very cushy. It feels like a cottony t-shirt fabric. So it feels very comfortable when you are stepping into the shoe. It's not itchy or uncomfortable. You feel like you get a lot of padding and support in all the places where you would need support. So once again, on the heel part of the insole, you get the Disney Alice in Wonderland logo, followed by a regular choice, which you probably can't see. On the inside, you see all the Alice in Wonderland characters. You see the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, the White Rabbit, the little playing card dudes, the Queen of Hearts, and did I already say Alice? Because there she is again. And then the very last detail detail is the sole of the shoe and there is the little dormouse that I was just talking about in his little sugar dish. Once again just so much detail that even the sole of the shoe is printed with an image. That's pretty impressive to me. I do feel like this is more of a showcase piece than obviously a shoe for everyday wear but if you want to wear it every day go ahead, wear them every day. Nobody is gonna stop you. These tend to be shoes that I wear more on occasion and then just kind of keep in my closet on display as conversation pieces. They're fun to look at. And I mean, they are fun to wear once again on special occasions, like going to Disneyland, Disney World, things like that. So the first time that I've ever worn these or put these on was to film this video. I just got them not that long ago. I haven't even had them that much, but I do find their comfort level to be comparable to any other pair of regular choice shoes. If you've ever tried on any of them with the special heel, they are just a little bit heavy, but for me, it's not a big deal it's not uncomfortable and once again I can't find personally that I would be wearing these for like 10 hours at a time or something like that you know definitely if I was like just going on a date going out to dinner going to the movies something like that and I wanted a really awesome eye-catching statement shoe that is when I would bust these out and for that I think that they are perfect. I just love the entire shoe together. I love the mixture of the different fabrics, the different patterns, the different textures. I think it really evokes the Alice in Wonderland, I'm gonna say whimsical again, but just all of it together, it's just so busy, but in a good way. I really feel like they did the movie justice when they imagined these shoes. There's just so many different things to look at. You know, it's like every time I take these shoes out of the box and I look at them again, I feel like I'm noticing a different detail. Like I just noticed how the bottom teacup has the different suits of playing cards and the teapot has roses. I mean, literally you could just look at these over and over again and probably find something new and different to look at every single time. I am definitely super happy and very excited to have these in my collection. They are rare, they're different, they're a collector's item, and if you love shoes, like I love shoes, and you just love looking at shoes, you love like displaying shoes, I feel like these would be a fun pair to add to your collection. Also, just again, kind of like the Star Wars A Regular Choice collection, if you guys looked into the those. They had so many different options for these shoes. It was so hard to pick which one I wanted. They also have heels that look like Alice. I think also the White Rabbit and they have a bunch of different flats. Just if you're a fan of Alice in Wonderland, you are going to want to check out this collection because it is pretty amazing. It's pretty fabulous. It's about the same size I think as the Star Wars one was. So there are a lot of options. They even have little Cheshire Cat flats and they have little Cheshire Cat tails. Pretty magical. That is pretty much all I can say about this shoe. I love it and I hope you guys do too. I love sharing these absolutely crazy, wild, totally different shoes and I'm such a fan of a regular choice these days. I feel like they're always coming out with a different heel that's just like, oh, like what are they gonna come out with next? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys still enjoy shoe unboxings. I love sneaking them in there from time to time. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for watching and for hanging out with me. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, 
Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!